Hey guys, Taco Mage here, and welcome to the very first of my traditional tutorial videos. I realized that I've got spotlights and I've got the no words videos, which are tutorials, but they're more of the straightforward ones that I think are self-explanatory. But I realized I didn't have anything that was just for traditional tutorials, tutorials where the material I think needs a little bit more explanation. So that's what we're here today. And today we're going to start with the Botania item provider. It's quite a simple little thing to put together, but it does use a little bit of redstone, and I think it does bear a little bit of description. And I do use them in my Magicorp series, so I thought, you know what, I might as well make an accompanying tutorial video. So to put one of these things together, you need a weighted pressure plate of the heavy variety, the one made of iron, an open crate from Botania, a regular vanilla Minecraft hopper, uh, two redstone torches, a bit of redstone, uh, two blocks of any kind, in this case just living rock brick, and something that you want to dispense. Now the reason you'd want to build one of these is if you need to provide something to a flower, such as a granite carpus or like an endo flame. Uh, so you need to keep things kind of in the world. So to make this, you just put down a pressure plate, on top of that an open crate, and on top of that, oop, on top of that a hopper. And then next to the pressure plate, you put down a piece of redstone, and next to that, a block with a redstone torch on top of it. On top of that, you toss down the other block, and then a redstone torch coming out the side of that into this hopper. Now what this is doing over here is this is actually a double inverter, which is a way to get redstone to go vertical. You actually could replace this with another mod that has vertical redstone capabilities, such as anything with cables or sticky redstone. Uh, but for vanilla Minecraft, you need to use this kind of setup in order to carry this redstone signal up to here. So what's going on here? Well, what happens is if you put something in this item hopper, it then puts one item into the open crate, which then drops it onto the pressure plate. The pressure plate sets this redstone signal to high, which then goes back up through the, the torches, setting this one to high by turning this torch off. Again, it's a double inverter. This signal turns this torch off, which then, because this torch was activating this block and turning this torch off, then inactivates and turns that torch on. This torch's redstone signal then acts on this hopper to stop it. The hoppers want a redstone positive, don't do anything. So basically, that'll stay in that respect, or stay in the state with one charcoal on the pressure plate until it's eaten, let's say by a nearby endo flame. So if something grabs that, and another one is dispensed. And this will just keep happening over and over again as long as there's something to dispense into it. So really the trick is to get this hopper hooked up to some sort of system, such as a charcoal production system, or to whatever you're feeding to your ran and carpus. In order to take this one step further, we want to talk about setting it up this up in such a way that it can dispense things that it itself collects. And by that I mean like in my tree farm where I actually hook up a hopper hawk to this hopper in order to gather saplings and dispense them. I'm going to show you how that works. In order to pull this off, what you're going to need is an item frame, one of the items that's going to be collected and dispensed, a floating hopper hawk, some sort of bricks, just one brick uh, or block of any kind, in this case we're losing living rock brick, uh, a single redstone torch, a single piece of redstone, a hovering hourglass, and something to time it with. In this case, two pieces of soul sand works pretty good for a tree farm. So what you do is you put your item frame on the hopper hawk, and into that frame pick put whatever you're going to be picking up, so in this case the oak sapling. Next to this hopper you put your hopper hawk, and then two blocks out from this you put just a block. Then facing the hopper hawk you put a redstone torch. Again, the redstone torch being on deactivates this floating hopper hawk. We're going to be using that to time the hopper hawk. On top of this block you put a piece of redstone, and then next to this redstone, see if I can get this lined up here, you put your hovering hourglass, and then you put in your timing agent. So what this will do, if we put some oak saplings in here to dispense, so what this will do is it will make it so that this hopper hawk will not be picking up items until the time runs out. So if we just throw a bunch of oak saplings out, out here to pick up, you'll see that it will sit there not doing anything. And the reason that you want to do this is because you don't want this item that's being provided here to be constantly picked up by the hopper hawk and then dispensed again. It'll just do that every second or two in an endless cycle. And one, you're going to hear, hear that, but two, it could also possibly rob whatever you're trying to dispense to of the item. So if you had like a Renan Carpus out here trying to plant that tree, 
If the hopper hawk is firing before the Ranoncarpus, it's just going to cycle that item and the Ranoncarpus is never going to plant it. This way though, these items, which in this case would be dropped from the tree that was just harvested, won't be picked up until the hourglass turns over. As you see, the hopper hawk picked up everything that was in range. These two were not in range, that's why they stayed out there. But it picked up everything that's in range, including this one down here, but then another one was quickly dispensed. And that's a way to keep it so that the hopper hawk is still picking up things, but isn't otherwise interfering with the system. And again, I will be using that in the tutorial that's coming next, which is my tree farm tutorial. Anyway, that's basically how to put together Batania item providers. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Later!